Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to add a new property from frontend. You can find out how to manage the fields in how to manage fields in submission form video. The submission form can be found in user dashboard, add new property. The form is the same for adding new property and edit property. I will explain each section by editing an existing listing. The title will be mandatory, regardless if you set it as mandatory field in Team Options or not. In Description section, details of the property can be added. You can apply simple HTML code for text format. The title and description will show like this in property page. The price of the property will be added here. You need to add a plain number without any special characters like dot or comma. The price decimals will show in front end automatically. You can add an after price label or a before price label. They will show in price here on property page or in property card. The yearly tax rate and homeowner association fee will be used for mortgage calculator in property page. This one here. The categories section will show categories and types. These are the elements that you set in admin. The elements will show here on property page. For the listing location section, the team has two options for filling in the fields. One with autocomplete and one with dropdowns. At this moment, I have enabled autocomplete. So when I type, type the address, a dropdown with suggestions will show. Depending on the value that I choose, the other fields will be filled in and the property will be automatically placed on map. If I disable autocomplete, drop downs will show for county, city and area fields. Zip address will need to be filled in and the country will be the one set as global option. The drop-down values will be the one set by admin in property category section. Also for the property to be placed on map, the place pin with property address will need to be pressed. The address details will show here and the property pin will show on map. Next, you will have energy class where you can choose energy class and energy index. It will show here on property page. Listing details will include default fields and custom fields. The fields that will not be filled in will not show in property page. In details section, all the field in fields will show. The owner agent notes will not be visible on front end. This field will be visible only for admin. The status drop down will show elements set in admin. The label will show in property card and in some sliders. In Features and Amenities section, you can select more than one option. They will show here. The subunit section can be used if this property will have other properties linked. You need to enable the option and select the listings that will be set as subunits. 
they will show here. In media, the property images can be uploaded. The minimum size for the images need to be at least 500 per 500 pixels, and you can also upload PDF files. The images will show in sliders, and the documents will show in this section. In floor plans, the use floor plans checkbox will need to be ticked. You can add title, description, size, number of rooms, number of bedrooms, and price, and also upload floor plans images. You can add more than one floor plan. The section can be seen here. Next, we have virtual tour and video option. For virtual tour, we use iframe codes like this. And for video, you can choose YouTube or Vimeo videos and only the video ID needs to be added. The video player will open. And the virtual tour section will be seen here. These are the details that need to be filled in for the property to be submitted. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our VP Residence YouTube channel to get instant notification when we publish new video tutorials.